Hey guys, this is Christy Arnett with another edition of Strip Poker for Card Player TV. We're here at Binion's, the place that made poker famous in downtown Las Vegas. Today is the first day of the Binion's Poker Open, and I hear there's a lot of action to be expected. So let's go check it out. Gary, why did you guys decide to run the Binion's Poker Open? Well, we decided to run it because when we ran the Binion's Poker Classic in June, it was so successful, we had a lot of requests to run another tournament similar to that. And naturally, doing what the customers and the players want, it, we did it, and hopefully it'll be as good as the Classic was, and if today's any indication, we're off to a real good start. What can players expect in terms of buy-ins and structure? Well, what we offer, we offer low buy-ins that way, and you know, your average everyday player can come in and play in it, and still, if they get lucky, win a nice prize, you know, because of the amount of players in it. That's why we don't try to compete with the, you know, the bigger tournaments. So we offered uh, lower $150, $200 buy-ins for your average everyday player. Come down, have a good time, as you can see they're all doing. And uh, if they get lucky, still make a nice payday, and then they can move to a bigger tournament if they want. You guys are running a lot of preliminary events that are not no-limit hold'em. What are the games that you guys offer? Uh, we're running uh, uh, Omaha, Omaha 8 or better. We're running Horse, we're running Raz, we're running a ladies' event. We're running just about everything for everyone. Jennifer, can you tell us about the main event? When does it start and what's the buy-in? Our main event is on October 30th at 12 noon. It's a $1,000 buy-in, 20000 in starting chips, 45-minute levels. We'll be running a super satellite the night before at 5 o'clock for $150. And we'll be running single table satellites all day on the 29th and the morning of the 30th. What kind of turnout are you expecting for that? Um, we aren't really sure right now, probably between 80 and 150 Right after the main event, there is a Tournament of Champions. Can you tell us about that? Sure. For every tournament that we're running for the Binion's Poker Open, every main event, for every 50 entries, we're qualifying one player for the Tournament of Champions. We're taking out 2% of every prize pool, putting it in the prize fund for that tournament, and that will be the uh, co-champion of the tournament, the Binion's Poker Open. Do you get like a trophy or anything besides the prize money? Yes. We have large trophies for our championship event and also the Tournament of Champions. We have smaller trophies for each daily event. Now that's taking place on Halloween. Will you guys be dressing up for that? Um, some of us will be. <laughs> Roberto, what made you decide to play the Binion's Poker Open? Well, Binion's has a really well-run room. They have really great personnel and management. I notice when we get a call at the table, it's the same call every time. They have a good turnout here, nice payoff for a small buy-in tournament, and it's fun to play here. Are you a professional? Absolutely. And where are you from? I'm originally from California. I moved to Las Vegas in 1990 so I could be 15 minutes away from a casino rather than two hours. And I've uh, enjoyed a lot of great success here. Is this one of your favorite places to play? It is uh, one of the places I do my best to make an appearance here and play in some of their tournaments. And um, for cash games, I'm usually playing in bigger games. And uh, However, I'll sit down in this 1-2 game and play with the boys once in a while. Are you going to play more preliminary events? Yes, I'm probably I'm going to be out of town this weekend. However, next week I'm going to probably play several events, and of course we're going to play in the uh, larger buy-in uh, no limit hold'em events for sure. Brian, you're playing in the first preliminary event. How are you doing so far? I'm doing pretty well. I um, I just walked in. I was an alternate player, and I looked down. I have Ace King on my first hand. It was raised to me. I re-raised it. The gentleman called. Next thing you know, uh, flop hits me, uh, King High, and he bets into me. I just call, turn card, he checks, I bet, take the pot down, he folded. It was a good start. Definitely a good start. So what do you think of the structure so far? It looks great. Um, the blinds and the rounds, perfect starting. I was actually walking to a different casino, and I didn't even know this tournament was going on, and uh, next thing you know, I find myself sitting down and doing well. What is the best thing about playing at Binion's? Uh, it's just, it's got the history, and it's always, they always make you feel very comfortable here. So it's a great place to play. Not only is Binion's home to the Poker Hall of Fame, but it's famous for its tournaments. The Binion's Poker Open is offering a wide variety of buy-ins and games, so there's something for everyone. The total schedule can be found on carplayer.com, so make sure to check it out and get down here to play. I'm Chris Yarnett for Carplayer TV. I'll see you at the poker tables.